Well, greetings once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again. Um, had a uh, video or two respite from doing uh, watch uh, videos, but uh, back to normal now. Um, going, um, going back to uh, what the channel is mostly known for. Uh, watch reviews, unboxings, that sort of thing. Uh, quick uh, wristwatch check. I usually don't do that because I'm uh, usually not wearing a watch for some reason, but uh, I'm wearing the Arnie, uh, the real release. Uh, but I did want to point out that I did make a change. I did change the rubber dive strap on it, which was too big and not very comfortable to me. I changed it to a black leather Colorab uh, strap, one of the Sienna line straps and it fits much better I'm going to take it off now because I'm going to uh, obviously do a wrist shot of what's in the box and what's in the box of course as you can see is a Seiko uh, this was a um, this was an impulse buy uh, I saw it on, on uh, Amazon it was a good price um, and uh, I liked it and so I just decided to go ahead and pick it up and uh, you know for 250 odd dollars for a brand new one of these is not a bad price I'm sure I could have done better but uh, hey what the heck uh, you know outer box has the usual um, manuals and stuff you know nothing terribly exciting there inner box you know typical Seiko cardboard nothing terribly exciting there but nice little watch underneath ta-da it's yes you guessed it an SKX this is the S SKX 011 which um, you can see SKX 011J 7S26 caliber, part of the uh, Seiko 521 Jewel family, blah, 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 with its original rubber strap, which I think we've covered, I'm not a big fan of. I have replaced the rubber strap with a blue Collareb leather strap. Uh, this is um, not a Sienna. I forgot the exact name of it. Uh, I think it's um, Roma or something. Anyway, it's a deep blue, slightly distressed look leather. And, of course, blue because the, the face is orange, as you can see. Orange and blue, Florida Gators see my other videos about the Florida Gators and about my love for orange and blue watches to, f to match my love of orange and blue Florida Gators so that's that that's mainly the reason that I bought the watch was uh, wanted the orange and blue thing and another watch so I could have a little variety to go with my turtle and my um, my uh, combat sub from Glycine and my Doxa uh, sub 750T GMT. You know, why not another one? Nice watch. I mean, I already have a SKX. I have that SKX A65 uh, Thailand limited edition. Uh, go see one of my other videos about that. So I already had an SKX, but. Uh, you know, the orange one is going to be a little harder to find now that the SKX production has been discontinued. And uh, I figure why not pick one up while the prices were still reasonable before people start losing their minds. You know, typical SKX case, crown, unsigned crown at the 4 o'clock. You know, the um, automatic movement, no manual wind, no hack. 
uh, does have um, day and uh, date complication at 3 o'clock. Nice uh, bezel action. little stiff, but I, I chalk that up to it being a new watch. Uh, but uh, solid. And everything lines up on this one pretty well, except when I don't um, turn the bezel properly and it doesn't line up well because of a user error. Yeah. 120 click bezel as you can hear and everything lines up pretty well. I know that you know people always complaining about oh Seiko QC is so bad blah 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 blah. Now for 250 bucks what are you expecting? You Anyone who's expecting Rolex quality QC and everything to line up within a you know whatever measurement level is less than a millimeter uh, you're, you're deluding yourself people come on level set your expectations as my old managers used to say at IBM anyway I mean it's a nice watch there's nothing wrong with it I love the orange it fits well on my seven and a quarter inch wrist And the reason I know it's a seven and a quarter inch wrist is because I bought a watch from Random Rob, and Random Rob's wrist is seven and a quarter inches, and when I got it, it fit me perfectly. So I'm going to go with that. See, there's not a lot of overhang on the uh, on the lugs, obviously because they're very short lugs, and it just centers itself nicely on my wrist because I wear my watches back a bit from the joint. Obviously, there's no interference from the crown. I have full movement and it's very comfortable. And that leather, uh, oh, the smell of fine Italian. I'm telling you, if you guys want leather straps and you don't mind waiting three days to get one, Collareb makes a great strap. I think I've bought over a dozen straps for myself and a couple for my father whose collection would make people's heads spin. And uh, I've never been disappointed. Only one time did they ever make an error in my order and they fixed it within two days. Let's watch. Stats, which are probably so well known about the SKX that I probably don't even have to say them, but you know, it's my shtick. It's a... Uh, Seiko SKX011J, meaning it is a Japanese model, Japanese uh, uh, domestic market or JDM. Obviously, it's one of the orange ones with the, um, I guess you would say that would be gold um, bezel uh, markings. 42 millimeter diameter case, 13 millimeter thick. 22 millimeter lug width. 200 meter water resistance. It is a true dive watch. It meets all the dive watch specifications unless you start modding them, in which case it won't anymore. Uh, Hardlex crystal. You know, maybe someday I'll swap it out for a sapphire when the Hardlex gets damaged. Uh, but for now, it's more than sufficient. Uh, the ubiquitous and tank-like 7S26 movement. Um, fine movement. It does not uh, manual wind. It does not hack, but it is an automatic. So if you give it the Seiko shake, you know, or you put it on a winder, which I do, uh, it'll just run and run and run. And uh, has good accuracy for what it is. And I got no complaints. Uh, screw down crown at the four o'clock, of course. And as we mentioned before, the day date complication. I believe the other day besides, uh, you know, I'll just bring it out so we can take a look. It has a dual language day function. Uh, let's see, it looks like uh, Japanese. Yeah. Well, you would expect that being a JDM um, watch. So, 
and the crown engages very very easily very quickly spring bars are the fat style spring bars i know this because i had to take them off to put the strap on i like the way the blue plays with the um the orange very nice um so the big fat spring bars so they're really um solid when once they click in and not a lot of play there so overall very happy with this pickup um might think about going after one of the yellow ones but uh I mean, I probably would never wear it, though. I'd probably just put it away and hold it for a while and then sell it at a profit or something because I'm not a big fan of yellow watches. I had a yellow watch. I had a Doxa, uh, one of the diving stars. Uh, wore it maybe over the 10 years I owned it. I think I wore it 10 times and sold it for more than I paid for it. So... Um, probably won't get the yellow one let somebody else have it why why hog all the um product out there for no reason so that's it i'm very happy i picked this one up i'm gonna leave the blue thing on there i know i left it on there i did that on purpose so let's see wrap up time uh thumbs up if you liked the video always appreciate a thumbs up comments questions concerns suggestions down below there i answer them all i delete the nasty stuff and i block the poster ain't got time for that crap um if you're not already a subscriber and you uh like what you see uh please uh consider subscribing and click the bell icon um to be alerted when i post new content or when i do a live chat which i'm getting better at um, at least I think I am. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you enjoyed the watch. I'll see you in the next video.